Welcome back to another episode of Nidal. In this episode, we're going to be sort of completing the uh, peninsula that sits right behind this giant citadel. Yeah, there we go. This is the one that we're going to be working on. Uh, I mentioned this a couple episodes ago, but I really wanted to like finish, like really finish a whole chunk of the city and, and move on to a different part. Um, we still have to come back to the citadel and add a few more details here and there, but uh, the this this thing that I'm gonna be that I'm gonna be working on I consider it pretty much done at the end of this episode. I may you know like always whenever I see something that looks a little bit off I just go in and change it sometimes on camera sometimes off camera but uh, that's usually that's usually how it goes. And uh, this one it was kind of interesting because I wasn't really uh, you know as I was working on this specific uh, build I wasn't really feeling it uh, but. For whatever reason, and I never do this, I just kept pushing, and at the end, it sort of all came together, uh, and I was uh, pretty happy with it. So I'll probably talk about more in just a minute. Um, also, another thing that happened uh, as I was uh, recording this episode, this this part that right here that you see on the screen, I actually had to redo it because. Um, well, it turns out that I was using a beta version of Move It that actually it's kind of old. I think it predates uh, the Campus DLC. And, uh, you know, as I was like tweaking things and cloning uh, a whole bunch of different or copying and pasting all kinds of different uh, elements around here, I got uh, one of those like index array or out of uh, index array errors or whatever it's called, you know, the error. If you play <laughs> Cities Islands for any amount of time, you probably encounter, encounter this, this problem a whole bunch of times. But this time around, and this is, by the way, not the first time this happens in Night Owl, but this time around, for whatever reason, it kind of messed up with all the breakwater rocks in uh, the vicinity of this, uh, of this part of the city. And as I was trying to like fix it, it would like keep breaking the next chunk and the next chunk and the next chunk. And at, at that point, it's like, mm, maybe we should probably restart this because I kind of probably messed up the save game uh, altogether. Uh, so I, I sort of lost like an hour worth of work. What is going on outside my window right now? There's some little super loud noises and people, yeah, just being loud. Oh, it's just a garbage truck. That's very helpful. Anyways. Um, that seems to happen exactly every time I start recording, but I really don't have time to to record this commentary any other time, so it will have to do. Hopefully it doesn't come through the, the microphone that much. Anyways, uh, you might be wondering what that giant slab of pavement in the middle of the screen is doing there. So, uh, as you can see, we have uh, quite a bit of demand for people visiting the Citadel, and I don't blame them. I mean, it's a tourist destination. It looks great, of course. <laughs> uh, and uh, I mean, that's actually partially true that there's a lot of demand from, from tourists to come in into the Citadel, but at the same time, the reason why there's a conga line of cars there, it's because of something that I was actually able to fix. Uh, and you're gonna see it in a couple minutes, but uh, the road leading into the Citadel is a one-way road and it's just causing all kinds of problems. So I'm gonna address that, like I said, in a, in a minute or two. But before I did that, I was just like, okay, this being such a prominent tourist destination, uh, I think we, we need to have some sort of parking uh, spaces. So I figured this, uh, you know, this area adjacent to the Citadel, in my mind, when I was uh, originally planning on, on, on working on this area, I always thought it was just going to be a park, you know, like trees and maybe a couple uh, pedestrian trails sort of uh, meandering about. But uh, I don't know, just conceptually didn't make sense because we have this like old uh, urban development, the Citadel uh, specifically. It just wouldn't make sense that nothing will be on the other side of the river. Like as the city grew back in the day, like the people would, you know, people that maybe necessarily didn't have the means to leave inside of the citadel would have to start, uh, you know, building their houses on the other side of the river as the city expanded. So it, it makes some sense for, for this to be developed as opposed to just a green space. So this is why I'm adding all of these buildings, trying to sort of uh, address the, uh, the issue of the height differences, which is, uh, you know, even though I've done this like a million times, it's always like, 
new and uh, weird and I'm having trouble with it uh, until it for whatever reason looks right. I mean, I keep using the same techniques that I've been using ever since I started working on this project, but I don't know, like, I feel like every time, every neighborhood is different and there's always a catch. Uh, in this case, having all of these sort of houses, like, like deep into the rock, at first it didn't look great. Um, in fact, at this point even, it's still kind of like, hmm, this doesn't look super realistic which you know again I, I mentioned this many times i'm not aiming for like absolute realism i'm just aiming for something that mostly looks good and it's plausible uh but that's about it and uh yeah you're gonna see in the cinematics at the end uh you're gonna judge be able to judge for yourself i'm actually pretty happy with how it came out but this is uh this is i should probably talk about what's happening on the screen right now this this bridge right here so in the last uh live stream uh, we're playing around with this like UK road segments and I realized that they actually have uh, a bridge component to them Which looks almost exactly the same as the rail bridge that I was using before before this this bridge was a combination of a Rail bridge that had like a cobblestone overlay on it And then it had like an invisible road on it and some pedestrian roads. It was just a mess There was like so many networks uh, part of it uh, even all these like fence props on the sides just so that it looked a little bit nicer so I ended up replacing that bridge completely with this uh, UK roads, which uh, the actual bridge itself doesn't look as polished as the one we had before. Uh, the textures look a little bit low res. Uh, you can see it there. It's a little bit on darker side too, but it works uh, and it, it's not that, you know, uh, visually uh, uh, unappealing, I guess is the word that I was <laughs> trying to think of. Um, so I, I decided to keep it. And of course this fixed the issue with the cars just uh, waiting in line there because that, that was just really annoying. The other problem that this uh, sort of uh, brought is the fact that uh, this bridge apparently doesn't have a pedestrian connection. So I had to like overlay an invisible pedestrian uh, path on it, but it turned out actually to, to work much, much better than anticipated because uh, I sort of uh, nudged this invisible pedestrian path on one side of the bridge and now pedestrians are kind of walking on the actual, uh, you know, on the actual street and cars are like sort of slowing down and sort of not really avoiding them because that's not the way City Skyline works, but at least cars are slowing down whenever there are, there's pedestrians in front of them, which is uh, awesome. It actually looks very realistic for City Skyline standards. Uh, and I was uh, pretty happy uh, on, on that uh, sort of, you know, uh, happy accident to put it in, in Bob Ross, uh, Bob Ross's terms. And uh, over here, I ended up uh, creating this uh, pedestrian shortcut that people seem to be taking uh, now. Uh, they used to just go on the main road, sort of zigzagging across this hill all the way to the top and then across the bridge to get into the Citadel. Now they just take this little shortcut, which um, I decided to, uh, you know, that was a great opportunity to add more buildings and, and shops and things of that nature. So that sort of so sold the deal, I guess, uh, or sealed the deal, I guess is where I'm looking for. Uh, finally, also adding a few uh, layers of vegetation. And this is, uh, by the way, this is the moment where I was like, okay, this, this design may work because having buildings just laying on a hill I don't know, for whatever reason, it just didn't look super realistic to me. Um, it's, I mean, it's not like it's never been done, but it just, it's not very common either. But now that I have this like multiple layers of like windows and roofs and things like that, it just sort of all came together. And uh, these, uh, the, the roof props sort of creeping uh, through the uh, different uh, surfaces also adds an extra layer of detail that I didn't intend to, but um, I'm definitely <laughs> taking advantage of. And uh, over here, by the way, uh, same thing, just uh, going with my usual technique of adding these uh, concrete walls to create uh, all these like tiered spaces. And uh, as opposed to sort of adding more buildings in between all of these buildings, I sort of kept these uh, courtyards relatively empty. And uh, I later, well, later in like a minute, you're gonna see me add a whole bunch of props, uh, like restaurants and things like that, which sort of uh, brought this area together, especially with the props that I'm currently adding to uh, the parking lot. The parking lot, uh, again, like I said, it's being such a heavy tourist destination, I, I feel like it needed 
like a very comprehensive <laughs> parking uh, situation. I've noticed that in many places uh, across Europe, especially like very heavily, you know, touristy areas, there is quite a bit of parking lot, mo mostly for like, uh, you know, tourist uh, buses and things like that. Well, we should probably add some buses to this because there's only cars right now parking in here. But um, I picture that way back when the area where the parking lot sits used to be like a like a like a main square uh you know where markets uh, would take place eventually i'm sure it will go back to that but for now it's just dedicated as a uh, place for cars to rest if you want to put it in those terms and uh i sort of kept this other part of the peninsula as a park kind of thing uh just uh it only has trees and the roads that sort of meander uh, up and down uh, the hill but uh, yeah I think uh, I sort of managed to achieve like a very decent contrast between one side that's heavily developed and the other side that's like more open uh, and, and park like these trees that I'm putting on top of these buildings I'm still not sure if I I mean visually they look okay but they don't necessarily make the most sense because like the I was just in my mind picturing the roots of the trees sort of like going through the buildings that are underneath so i don't know uh there there's technically room for them to grow but it's not something that you necessarily see you don't see a giant tree on top of a house in general uh it looks good don't get me wrong I, I at least i think it does but it's a little it's a little off and i might remove them and maybe replace it with like smaller trees or like bushes or some kind of hedge uh, definitely something that's green and and vegetation-y but um uh, if that's even a word, <laughs> but uh, yeah, those those giant trees maybe maybe not uh, the best choice for that. Uh, over here, I'm sort of following the same design from the other side of the marina, just uh, adding some breakwater rocks. For the most part, as you can see, we have the seawall defenses and the concrete road that just sits flushed against it. I love how this came out, by the way. I should have. I need to do this like everywhere in in that all because this is like one of my favorite design components uh, and the addition of these like patches of broken cobblestone uh, and just uh, damaged asphalt I think it just sells a deal like perfectly I've been posting screenshots on, on Twitter uh, and uh, I guess a lot of people seem to agree on that I've been getting a few comments uh, before this video was even released so I'm, I'm glad to hear that uh, also adding uh, a little bit of street furniture because this looks a little bit empty without uh, well there's like no road markings or anything like that you know there's just a plain concrete uh, a concrete street but uh, adding the decals with the cobblestone and the street furniture and these like uh, safety life preserver -y things so that uh, if someone drowns people can aid that person if they fall on the water M mainly because there's like no railing or anything and that's by design by the way I specifically didn't put anything because I didn't think it was needed like when you go to like harbor areas in general there's just no fences you can just go on the water <laughs> pretty much um, maybe you should have added some boats on that uh, shoreline a little bit I don't know Having the marina so close, so close by, just didn't make that much sense to add uh, add boats or anything like that. But maybe, maybe that's a good idea. Uh, and this is, uh, yeah, this is me adding a few uh, props on this uh, sort of courtyard area. I kind of uh, mentioned this uh, earlier in this episode, but this is where we're going to be adding some uh, tables and restaurants and umbrellas, which is. Uh, a anytime I do this, it just like immediately looks amazing. No matter how how I orient the the tables or the umbrellas or anything like that just everything looks great so i keep <laughs> i'm gonna keep doing this over and over again until i get bored of it but i always try to like mix it up you know use like different colors for the umbrellas use different table setups uh, in this case we have one of the corners for those kinds of tables and then eventually i don't know if i kept the footage uh on this uh edit but uh, i'm gonna add on the other side of that courtyard i'm gonna add a few more a few more tables and uh, finally just wanted to put some love uh, on the road markings because that's not necessarily something i do too often but i think in this uh heavily detailed areas i think it, it made some sense to to actually put some some extra effort and i took a whole bunch of screenshots that i've been again i've been tweeting all these so if you want to see things before uh episodes come out you might want to check me out on twitter i'm actually really close to uh, a big uh, round number, which I don't usually celebrate, but you know, whatever. I'm talking about it, and 
if you if you want to help me out get me uh, over that edge <laughs> well uh, the link is in the description twitter.com slash twitter and also you don't really need a twitter account to look look at the at the pretty pictures just go there and you're gonna see my tweets uh so yeah that that's another thing they can do uh, what am i doing here oh yeah so i we, we had this like giant uh crosswalk that got generated when i uh laid down the pedestrian path so i tried to like make it a little bit pretty putting some uh some of these concrete bollards and and adding the proper signage uh, i also put like a sign for the bridge i don't know if you saw it there it was on the screen for like a split second but uh this this little uh that like y uh, shape fork. I think it came out absolutely fantastic. And this building that we worked on uh, many many episodes ago, I just decided to um, well surrounded it with uh, with hedges because you know it kind of looked like an official ish sort of building, and I didn't want the public to like roam around the the, the park grounds there. So I just uh, cover it with with a hedge uh, just all around it, and I think it also came out pretty great. But here it is. The before and after and it just so happens that it's the perfect moment for you to give this video a like if you did like it and uh, subscribe if you haven't already but uh yeah that's pretty much all i have for you today thank you so much for watching and uh, just enjoy the rest of cinematics